Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Peace and blessing to be upon the messenger of Allah, his family and companions. My dear brothers and sisters, I, Ahmad Anush, welcome all of you for this historical event which is named as the call with Islamic greetings Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Almighty God be on all of you Brothers and sisters What do you think this event the call is all about? Well the call is an Islamic event organized by Jamiyat al-Salaf in association with a prominent Islamic scholar, Dr. Abu Amina Bilal Phillips. Tonight, Dr. Bilal Phillips will give a talk on a very important subject. So I hope you will be waiting for that moment. This whole event, the call, is the first of its kind. It's a type of Islamic event that is taking place in Moldavian soil for the first time, alhamdulillah. This is the first episode of the call, inshallah. The second episode of the call will be held tomorrow night here at 8.45. So hope you'll be here, you'll be present here. Brothers and sisters, I think it's time for now just to look at tonight's agenda. First item was introduction of historical event. I did that. I performed that. Next is a speech by Jamiyat al-Salaf General Secretary Mohammed Sobah about this event. After that, after the speech by Jamiyat al-Salaf General Secretary, a youngster or young child would give a speech. That's what I would like to say or call for that. A speech that is named is our call. That's what the young child will be delivering. And, the, and tonight's main item is the talk by Dr. Bilal Phillips. After that Q&A session on tonight's subject, that's what we have got on tonight's agenda. I would not tell the subject Dr. Bilal should be talking about. Hope that you'll be waiting for that moment. So now, I would like to call for Brother Muhammad Sobah, General Secretary of Jamiyat al-Salaf, to deliver a speech about this event. People may be wondering, why? What's the reason? Why, it's taking, why the event is taking place? Why it's taking place in English? Why not in Dewey, our native language? There should be something behind that. Listen to the speech. General Secretary Mohammed Sobah. Brothers, so please come here. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina man yahdihi allahu fala mughilla lah wa man yudlilhu fala hadiya lah wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh sallallahu ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd i welcome you all with the greetings of the people of paradise Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, we're gathered here to witness this event, similar to which no other event had ever been recorded in the history of Maldives. Surely, this is not from us or not from ourselves. Indeed, this is a great blessing and mercy from Allah to the people of Maldives. Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah who made this event a reality. It is, with his, it is with his blessing and mercy that we are gathered here in this noble gathering. First of all, 
I would like to thank Dr. Bilal Phillips for accepting our invitation to share some of his experience and knowledge with us here in this evening. Jazakallah khairan shaykh. Today we mark the beginning of our long effort to bring internationally recognized speakers to our reach, to bring English speaking scholars to address issues and challenges we face today, to offer brothers and sisters solutions, true solutions for their problems. We Jamiyatu Salaf strive to deliver the true message of Islam to our brothers and sisters. This event is one such event constructed in a different form. At a time when Islam is tainted with false allegation and negative propaganda, we believe our obligation is heavier than, heavier than ever before. We condemn all forms of violence and corruption. We condemn injustice and oppression. We call for peace and justice. We believe Islam is the only solution for the entire humanity. We understand the responsibility that we have taken for ourselves. That is the responsibility to deliver the true understanding and teaching of Islam to our beloved brothers and sisters of Maldives. We also understand that we have an obligation towards the society. That is to deliver this message in such a way it's clean, clear and attractive. Clean from corruption, clear from misguidance, attractive with beautiful manners. O oh Allah, make our hearts sincere towards you and give us strength and give us wisdom. Iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'een. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. I think the young children or the young people in a society can be no more stable than the foundation or individual family units upon which it rests. There's no doubt about that. Our government, our institutions, our schools, indeed our way of life are dependent on healthy marriages and loyalty to the vulnerable little children around our feet. Surely children expect something. What is it? Do we really have an explicit idea what the children does actually expect from us, from the elderly people? The children, we all, they need care from the elderly people. They need the guidance from the schools. They